Well, today, beautiful cold day here in New York. First of all, welcome to Ask Chef Tony. Today we have a special guest. We have Sofia from Germany. Hi. Who is joining uh, uh, this episode. Uh, in this case, we are going to use the German-Italian approach and see what, what you will find in an Italian restaurant in Germany versus one in, in New York or somewhere around the world, anywhere you you, you'll pick. Sofia is, is part of a team that we are collaborating with, which by the way, they also have their own YouTube channel, which is... It's Red Kitchen, and it's a German um, food channel, where we show how to make different dishes. Nice, friendly, everyday dishes, pastries. Everything. And I understand that mom is involved? Yes, Mommy? she is in front of the camera, and she's cooking everything. Wow, sounds like a good day for me. Spend the day in the kitchen. <laughs> it is. So we, we picked a specific dish that is uh, done a lot over there and um, we're gonna use the scallopia. We're gonna use mushroom. Uh, we have a medley of different mushroom. We have the portobello. We have uh, cremini. Cremini, it's a beautiful aromatic mushroom, but it's not in else that a baby of the portobello mm -hmm. this and this is actually related right there this is hey mommy how are you so right there then we have a little champignon little oyster and etc what is scallopini first of all it's nothing but a piece of meat that is cut in a small what we call a scallop size we we had a little pounding to break the texture and tenderize it a little bit. She, Sophia did a really great job here, we can see. We also gonna use other vegetables, such as different color peppers, onion, some olives. Now, this specific recipe might be different in depending on the chef who's assembling it. I decided to throw some black olives in there to make it a little more, uh, a little more what? A little, little, little more colors and, and uh, delicious. And um, another thing to point out is the scallopini, which in German is translated as schnitzel. the schnitzel. Many times you will find it breaded. Yeah, am I correct? Right. In, in Germany, uh, they bread the schnitzel and then they will make a sauce to go over it and serve with many times with potatoes. We are not going to bread this scallopini. We're going to use a little bit lighter approach. 2014, you know, summer maybe, maybe summer will be coming soon. So we we getting to try to fit in our bathing suit here. <laughs> so we are not going to bread and fry. Okay. We're going to make a very a little more natural. Okay. We are gonna go with the with the veal. We pound it. We are gonna very lightly dust with flour. We're gonna dust the, the meat. Probably as Sophia is gonna do that, we're gonna start assembling the sauce. You know, we pre-julienne the veggies and we're gonna start cooking those down and create a nice sauce to go with this meat. We go uh, towards the end we're gonna add some uh, passata di pomodoro just to uh, intensify some flavors as well as other things that we will see as we go along. Now some of the mushroom sometimes have a little bit of grate or dirt on it because the way they uh, grow them and I've seen uh, people wash mushroom. We do not wash mushroom. Mushroom is a sponge. You put mushroom to soak in the water like you would do with lettuce or something else, what are you gonna do? You're gonna absorb water and release flavor. We don't wanna do that. So you'll dust them off. They even make brushes in case you have something really dirty. But these are nice. 
you always put your knuckles up and this way it's the safest way as weird as it looks <laughs> the claw and Sophia is going to continue to cut this while I prepare the stove just like in Italy everybody makes their own wine we uh, in Germany every town has their own whatever the name of the town it might be I was in Darmstadt there was a Darmstadt of beer or Frankfurt Frankfurt of beer etc I hear a lot here in America that beer needs to be high, cold, super cold. Germany is not so. Beer should not be drank super cold because you tend to jug it down and not enjoy it. Now that we prepare, chop, slice, whatever that might be, all our veggies, mushrooms and meat and all that, we're gonna go into the preparation where we're gonna dust meat and uh, Quickly saute with uh, olive oil and a little piece of butter. And we, once we brown the meat, we'll take it off, let it rest, and we go to assemble the sauce. We're going to reintroduce the meat and finish the sauce. We go to prepare uh, something to go with it. Maybe a nice simple salad and some uh, some of those broth kartoffel? Yes. Yes. The, the German version of the roasted potatoes with a few extra little elements. I'm going to start browning the meat as Sophia is going to uh, take the approach on the veggies. We're going to start with the mushroom. Take a little bit of the olive oil. I'm going to do the meat. So as I said, I'll put the nut of butter. You just use straight olive oil and some garlic. When you see the garlic start sizzling a little bit, you're ready to go. You don't want to burn it, you just okay. want it to sizzle a little bit. And you're going to start marking. You don't want to put all of them in one. Yeah, just give it a little thing. You can move them around with this. Okay. The standing poles will take care of it later. Okay. You can see that the oil is almost disappeared, but it will come out again mm -hmm. as it cooks. And we don't want to put any salt because the salt is going to dehydrate and we'll do the seasoning towards the end. My part here, I'm simply going to take the meat, dust, shake, and there you have it. This is not going to take long at all. Same thing here with the meat, we're going to do it in batches. There's no hurry, you don't want to crowd the pan. As uh, some of those start getting stuck, we fish them out. And then after we put them all together, it's the end. Minimize the seasoning, a little bit of that, but not too much because we're going to re-season at the end. And I would say we uh, have some of this, so uh, get a little more like that, and then you can take everything off. And we deglaze the pan a little bit. Deglazing. As you cook whatever, it might be mushroom, vegetables, meat, that is uh, across the forms at the bottom of your frying pan. Now, that is very intensified, very full of flavor. Okay, and it will be a shame to just waste that beautiful flavor. So what we like to do is deglaze by adding another liquid. Get some of that. And she's getting all the bits, scraping all the bits of the concentrated flavor. See now it's all nice and concentrated. Okay. I'm gonna scrape that and put it on top of the mushroom and uh, give this pan a uh, quick rinse and then we start with this. Now, same thing here, I'm going to deglaze this. This is brown salt. And um, it's from all the rendering of the meat, deglazed the pan, and all the drippings, all the, the, the concentrated flavors are all in there. I add a piece of butter, a little bit, a touch of cream, just to give it the consistency here. Mm -hmm. And we're going to use some of that as one of the ingredients in the dish. 
some of the best time in the kitchen in a way being a some sort of an artist just like um, uh, a painter artist or a sculptor uh, you, you express yourself in sort of ways in uh, Kunst which is the German word for art yes. and as you accomplish and you prepare sort of things you um, you're expressing your art as I was saying so we want the peppers to go wilted soft okay. nice but still a little bite to it as this cooks away, it's a good time uh, to have uh, a glass of water. I mean, are you part of the metropolitan area, the big city yeah. or small town? Yeah, Munich is a big city. In Bavaria, it's um, famous for the beer and... Um, Lederhose? Yes, right. <laughs> There's also a traditional um, festival. It's called... Um, in Bavaria, it's called the Wiesel. And um, the woman wears the uh, um, traditional dresses and the man wears the lederhosen. And um, yes, it's the biggest beer fest in the world. Oh, it is? Yes, it is. Would you say that the German cuisine is a uh, very high percentage with meat? In Bavaria, you eat more um, meat. More meat, right? Yeah. Do you also use a lot of uh, wild cod meat, like yes, boar? sometimes, but um, not so often. I went to a place that was a fest on garlic, knoblauch, knoblauch fest, where everything, everything had garlic in it. Even ice cream, there was I knoblauch okay. ice cream, which was good, surprisingly <laughs> it was good. Sounds crazy. Everybody had to take a day off the day after. You're going to go to work. <laughs> Nobody's going to work after the Knoblauch Fest. We're going to give you a break. I think it's safe now to add some olives. First of all, we're going to add the mushroom. We're going to use some of this passata di pomodoro, which is really basic uh, tomato. Cook down with garlic, olive oil, and very finely strained. If you buy a can of tomato sauce, most likely it's going to include other ingredients which we don't want to have. So you want to be as natural as possible. Yes, you could do a crushed tomato, you could get something like that. I'm going to put this. Is a, another element. Now we're making a nice batch. We have few people coming over. You can take all of that. The last bit of the meat is going to cook down. As this finishes the last few minutes, we're going to re-season if it needs a little more salt or etc. And um, we prepare something to go with it. We're gonna do the potatoes as well as something cooling like a, like a little simple salad. We have potatoes roasting in the in the oven, and we're gonna chop some of this bacon and uh, and uh, crunch it up a little bit with some olive oil. Then we introduce the potatoes from the oven into that and crunch them up further and use them as a bylog to the main dish. Va bene? <laughs> Be careful, don't get burned. <laughs> These uh, rat cut open. It's a... Uh, Potatoes with bacon, 
cooked in the rendering of the bacon. First we roasted the potatoes a bit and now we are uh, just crunching them up with all those elements. We're gonna add a little pepper, a little salt, not too much. Bacon already has high content. Veal, scallopini with peppers, mushroom, black olives in a tomato sauce. Went with the earthy flavors, so I got some uh, sautéed kale, since it's so in these days, uh, sautéed with pine nuts, olive oil, garlic, and uh, a little bit of a kick of a spice. Brad kartoffeln, a big staple of uh, the Italian uh, German food. And uh, just to ease everything off, a cooling salad, very simple, with um, chopped cherry tomatoes and uh, a balsamic glaze infused with Mediterranean figs. From Ask Chef Tony and Brad Kitchen, good, good appetit! appetit.